Ni Hao, and welcome back to the Chinese campaign. It's June 1947. This task force here is heading into port for uh, repair and rearmament. And when they enter, these things, the uh, light cruisers, are going to leave the shipyards, get ready for commissioning. And that should hopefully lead to us not being uh, over capacity for shipbuilding. Italy is sailing around, as is the Soviet Union. They got a battleship here. Well, Japan is, of course, also sailing around. Okay, there are two more Italian battleships, three more here. Who else is Italy fighting at the moment? France. Does France have anything? Uh, they've got some things. Wow, Italy has a very battleship-heavy navy. Uh, which I understand, because their battleships were quite nice for AI designs. So, let's just head into next month and see what happens. And it seems some things are happening. Monthly balance is in the green again, so I think the, um, the weird thing with the um, blockade has stopped being weird. Yeah, there we go. I don't even understand how they... Uh, or why I was being blockaded. I have a much bigger navy than they have, but probably had something to do with most of my navy being uh, busy bombarding uh, Northeast Korea. France still wants to be my ally. I'm, I'm sorry, France, but... Uh, I'm not really interested in you. Not in that way. I wanted to be friendly earlier on in the campaign because I needed... Uh, basically, I just wanted them to enter the war against Japan. Uh, but no, I'm not interested. France. Austria-Hungary again. Germany and Spain, okay. And Germany and France. Basically, the only thing France has that interests me is their colonies in um, Indochina. There we go. We are uh, attacking a port which is undefended by a single light cruiser. All right. Let's see if we can uh, catch this cruiser before it runs away. And oh, there it is. Let's see. Everyone focus the cruiser before it runs away. Uh, it seems everyone is on the same page. Oh, that's perfect uh, spawning location for the DDs. They could not have spawned in a uh, more correct location. I'm just going to drop you straight down to cruising speed. Because you don't really need to be going fast. Actually, DDs, I want you to... Well, the cruiser is going to start maneuvering. So the, uh, the torpedo lead is going to be way off. You're better off just launching at the transports and hope that the cruiser finds itself <laughs> in between the torps. And the assigned targets. There we go, already getting uh, flooding hits on Miyoko. I'm gonna watch out for uh, her own torpedo launches. There they are. Oh, very close. Uh, yeah, two spreads of torps coming in. But yeah, you're not running away now. Not with that kind of flooding. My own 
torpedoes are actually hitting the transports. I was hoping they would actually hit the cruiser, but... Transport hits, that's a uh, nice consolation prize. Beijing. Can we avoid that one torpedo? Uh, Zhejiang also. I think you can avoid. No, I don't think Beijing is gonna be avoiding this one. That is a torpedo hit. Okay, it's not too serious. Now we're just gonna slaughter the transports. And that will be that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh yeah, you had more torps in water. That's right. No worries. I could have just uh, kept sailing straight and not worry about that first torpedo launch. Let's see. Let's have these um, kind of spread out their fire. So we don't waste too much ammo hitting the same ships over and over again. Also, secondary uh, secondary guns. Find your own targets. Yeah, we took one torpedo and some very minor uh, seven-inch damage, but that was about it. Also, just gonna quickly see what kind of damage Beijing took, but I don't think it was serious. Didn't lead to a lot of crew loss, at least. Yeah, nice. Task force fails to escape. That's another very fast light cruiser. Again, it depends on um, how close it spawns to our task force. If it is within view range from the start, then yeah. If not, then it's gonna get away. So let's see. I can't see it. Uh, my DDs are slower than it. Even you, Pingu. Light cruisers might have a chance. No, it's still faster than them, too. It's right up here, though. See the radar ping? No, there it is. I see it. Is it trying to run? Of course it is. Now it's invisible. That means it will get away. Probably. Or is it just invisible because it's hiding in smoke? No. It's simply invisible. So, that's a bust. If I'd scored a lucky flooding hit when I still had it in, in view, and my battlecruiser was firing at it because it was in range, if I'd scored a flooding hit, that would slow it down and I would be able to catch up. But, 
Nope, not when it's motoring about at 38.4 knots, because I have no ships that are that fast. Oh, Spain running into minefields. France still losing a lot of transports. I'm losing some too, but it's not serious. Belgium wants to buy light cruisers. Mm. Yang Jiang. Isn't that my like first class of light cruisers? The ones that aren't very good and I keep losing? I think they are. Mm. I don't know, I have the capacity, but oh no, wait, I also need to um, unsuspend construction of that battleship. Korean Empire, are they my allies now? I thought they were allied to Japan. Now that's actually, even though it's less profit and they are heavier, it's actually a little bit tempting because they're right next to me so they can actually help me out with those cruisers. Korean Empire, when did you become my allies? I must have missed that pop-up. Yeah, there we go. Plenty of spare capacity. Let's see. And I can still unsuspend this guy. All right. And I've gotten the final Mark V gun, the uh, the twenty inch. That is okay. Let's see. Super propeller. I think I actually want to just focus uh, engines. Uh, we're just getting advanced gun mechanisms here. That's uh, not really that interesting. And just everything that can give me better... Um, gives me plus 0.5% hull form. Mm. I don't think that is going to make much of a difference, really. I just want things that will make my ships slightly faster. If I can't get the gas turbines, for whatever reason, things that give me better hull form and uh, stuff like that, probably going to be uh, more useful. So that was hull strengthening, right? Yeah. It's not a big improvement, but it's uh, it is something. Now, we got two more missions here. Uh let me first check if my ships are being repaired. Uh two months left. Repair of the Wuxi. Nanning uh, is already repaired. Okay. Well, I thought she was gonna require a couple of months at least, but I guess she wasn't that damaged. Yeah, all in all this is pretty nice. The commissioning of these, that's gonna be done next month. And then they're gonna be ready. And then I will have faster cruisers that can catch up to the Japanese. Let's do this one first. Yeah, the Koreans were allied to Japan, now allied to me. 
So they're using the uh, the ships they bought from Japan against Japan. That's uh, that's something. So now, sadly, I cannot request to buy ships from Korea. It would be interesting if I could buy <laughs> buy some of their Japanese built DDs, give them refits. What kind of torpedo range are we looking at with these? 12.2 kilometer torpedoes, 22 inch. So they are short range but fast. That could actually be useful. Not the fastest uh, DDs around though, their previous class were much faster. I had a top speed of 39 knots. 39 point something, almost 40, I think. Let's see, where are your torpedo launchers mounted though? You got a quad launcher, fore and aft, two of them, and a twin launcher amidships. And your guns are uh, short range, but pretty nice. I think. What kind of ammo do you have? Standard AP and high capacity HE. 0.9 inches of armor, so that's what the enemy DD has too, because it's the same type. Let's get closer to the enemy uh, light cruiser and uh, try to launch some torpedoes at it. My short range fast torps should be difficult to dodge. Let's see, secondaries on Yamakaza. Guns on Yamakaza, torpedoes on uh, Twana. See how close do I dare get before launching? Can I dodge that one? Yes, I can. Not these two though. Uh, yes, I can. No problem. No problem. Now she's in a turn. Ah, oh, she dodged them all. Okay, you just switched uh, targets on me, didn't you? Just because I wanted your main guns on the cruiser and your secondaries on the DD. Not the other way around. Oh, Hachikaza now out of torps. I don't think they carry reloads. No, they don't. So it's just done. You also carry torpedoes, don't you? What kind of armor does Tona have? 1.2? Yeah, I can pen that with the uh, HE. Actually, just uh, get the secondaries on that transport. There we go. Yeah, big caliber HE rounds. Going through the thin skin of the Tona, knocking her out. 
Now let's just deal with the DD, which is out of torpedoes, so it's really no threat to Shuji. How do you cause it might even help? I don't think that's needed though. There we go. Well done. Yeah, the Metal Snake class life cruiser is quite a bit better than my initial designs. Alright, task force. Oh yeah, Yang Jiang. But we're up against a Didi. Yamakaza class, so we are actually faster by 1.9 knots. Let's go. Now in this case, I think my Yamakaze, uh, no, my Yang Zhang class light cruiser is pretty well suited because she's got all those 7 inch guns firing forwards. That's 9 forward facing uh, 7 inch guns. I'm still gonna, I'm gonna have to catch up though. How far away? Am I really gonna bother with this? 40 kilometers? Yeah, 40 kilometers, so I will be back once we've caught up. And there we go, finally. So if you're wondering why I'm using my, my smoke launchers, I was doing that for a while after I started spotting the, the enemy DD, but before it entered range. And that was to... Uh, well, it didn't work when I got this close, though, but... I started spotting it at like 30 kilometers. So from 30 down to 20 kilometers, I was using my smoke launchers as often as possible because that would break line of sight. And that meant I could go to times 30 game speed. And that cut down on the chase time quite a bit. That's a little, uh, little trick you can do. Now, hopefully, in a future patch, uh, the developers have said this that they've done so that the um, if if an enemy task force or sh single ship in this case fails to withdraw which is when you get these kind of chase battles then they're not actually going to try to run away when you get the battle so that's going to be a Pretty big improvement to the game, I think. There you go. We are scoring hits. And slowing it down a little bit. But I still need a uh, flooding hit. 17 kilometers. You are in HE range now. Accuracy should be pretty much the same. Also, I just realized uh, these are running Cordite 2 and Dunite. Which is probably an accident on my part. Oh, I don't actually have a G pen to pen this DD. 0.9 inches of armor. What kind of ammo? Uh, capitalistic, capitalistic, okay. Okay then. So I don't think I have many of these uh, light cruisers left. Probably one or two, because so many of them just sank early on in the campaign. But I think I will give the ones I have a refit. Might be able to bump them up to uh, thirty-eight knots, maybe even thirty-nine and improve their uh, gun performance a little bit because they're just not performing well 
they're not even that inexpensive. At least it's firing HE on its own now. Uh, but in this case, I think actually AP would be preferable. Just to get that flooding hit. Okay, that's a ricochet. At least accuracy is not too bad now. There we go. That's what I was after. Now. Okay, that might actually be a kill. Yeah, it is. Hooray! We sank the DD. Alright. Let's get on with that. Um, yeah, I think... I think a refit would be nice. All right. Let's first see how many uh how many of them I have. I've got two of them, Don Young and uh Zhang Kui. They are the only ones. Oh yeah, that's the Austrian one. Which is also not very fast, but I couldn't really do much to it. Yeah, Yang Jiang class. My initial light cruiser. Let's improve it a little bit. Might actually do a refit of the old heavy cruisers too. And it's instantly overweight for some reason, but let's improve upon that. Let's see. These underwater launchers have never really been useful on these. So we're gonna put some deck launchers somewhere instead. I'm gonna give you oil one, not semi oil. That's gonna up the up the cost a bit. As will diesel two. But now I have the economy to afford that, so it's okay. Can you go 38 knots? Yes, you can. Can you go 39 knots? Almost. If we go with modern 2 armor... Oh, that's very expensive, actually. How about 38.5? There we go. That is possible. That would make those kinds of uh, chase missions much, much easier. Yeah, we're going with triple base and TNT4 for you. That will improve the guns a little bit. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. Actually, I think... Mm, let's see, the ASW has been improved quite a bit. Electrical 1 turrets. Electro Hydro is too heavy. Electrical 2 turrets. That works. But turret traverse has really not been a huge problem for these. So we're gonna stick to electrical one. Let's see, rotation speed, 5.38 degrees a second. Or 6.18. Uh, we're gonna just save the weight. Let's see, can I fit those torpedo tubes back on? She had three torpedoes per side. Before the refit. 
but they would just never launch at anything. We're looking at a three month refit already. It's overweight even with a single tube. So we're just gonna not have torpedoes on this. And that will be okay. I'm gonna lengthen those uh, three inch guns a little bit. Can I fit one more turret? Or one more pair of turrets? Yes, I can. That is great. That's going to make them a little bit better for chasing. Because these can fire straight forwards, as can these. All right, can I up the uh, main belt armor a little bit? Not too much, but a little bit. Very close to the uh, the weight limit now, though. What kind of pen are we looking at now? It is a little bit better. Not a whole lot better, but a little bit better. Yeah. It's okay. Deck penetration for a light cruiser caliber guns not really great. That's pretty much what we're gonna be uh, looking at fighting, so I can reduce the main deck actually. And I can lengthen the secondary guns. That gives them quite a bit more range. Uh, is that enough for 40 caliber? Yes. That is enough. There we go. Nice little improvement so far. Can I up the bulkheads? No. Cannot do that. Can I reinforce the bulkheads a little bit? No. Can I go triple bottom? No. Plus 12.5 hull weight. Plus 15 hull weight. Cannot go Citadel 5. But almost. Almost Citadel 5. Not Citadel 4. Uh, let's stick with Citadel 3, which we had. Uh, it's not going to be a very, very tanky ship anyway, so why not? It's a pretty huge cost increase though, but they've already been uh, been built. And I don't think the maintenance cost is going to be that huge either. I only have two of them, so there we go. Hopefully making these old light cruisers a little bit more useful. Next up, my old Shizhuang class heavy cruisers. Maintenance cost is 2.2 2 .2 billion. No, 2.2 .2 million. Excuse me, not billion a month. If I go with oil 1, it's 2.5. Modern one, 2.6. But that did save a little bit of weight. Flash fire chance is a little bit high. We can improve upon that like this. Go with diesel too. What does that do to the maintenance? 2.7 a month. It's not terrible. Mm, 
These are 50 caliber. That is... Um, minus 3 gun barrel length, actually. I wonder if... Lengthening them to 55... Like this. Yeah, that gives me a bit more range. It lowers the rate of fire though, but at least they won't run out of ammo as quickly. Anything else I can do to these guys? Up the range a little bit. The range is pretty good actually, 20,000 kilometers. Even at minimum, but that's what you get with diesels. Anti-torp? Mm, yeah. Overweight. Can up the main belt. A little bit. Yeah. Can I lengthen the 3-inch uh, the guns? Like I did on... The light cruisers make them uh, 40s. Yep, there we go. They now outrange the 5 inch 38s. If only by a little bit. I think we, uh, I think we have something here. Auxiliary. Three, uh, it's too heavy. Shaft three, we can do that. That we can do. We got standard ratio main shells, that's okay, I think. Uh, reloading. Mm. Nah. It might seem dumb not taking uh, improved reloading, but the issue I've been having with these the most is just running out of ammo. And yeah, I'm gonna have the same ammo count, but it's gonna be a little bit easier to manage which targets they do ex bend their limited ammunition on if they're not firing too fast. So I think I'm just going to keep the semi-auto. Which isn't isn't too bad, really. It's not that big of a difference anyway. So let's save it like this. And just keep the last few tons on the table. Now, I don't think I have any of these. I do have one of them in port. Let's see, what's my uh, spare... oh, already over uh, capacity there. And fine. We're gonna refit the, uh, the light cruiser here though. That's what we're gonna do. What's being repaired? What is being repaired now that was uh, taking up more of my capacity? I knew I had 10,000 tons of free capacity before, before this. Oh, probably the Metal Snake. Or the Shuji. Yeah, that's probably it. I'm gonna... Um, suspend repair of that heavy cruiser. Just for now. Just for a month. And I'm gonna just hold off on... Um, refitting these heavy cruisers until uh, I'm done with this war probably done with the uh, naval invasions 
But yeah, maybe it was uh, dumb of me to do the uh, sh refit the sign now and not later when I'm going to apply it anyway. But there you go. Austria, what are you doing here? Let's see if Italy is coming over. Uh, Japan is doing things. I think they're trying to take Western India. Maybe I should send someone over there to uh, intercept. Probably when these guys are ready. And have been joined by the Wuxi. It is only only two months left now. All right, let's go to next month, and we're still fighting Italy. That is fine. Now they have no territory anywhere near here, so there's no way for me to keep uh, keep that war going for longer than it uh, in the, in the Italians want. So, might get a peace treaty there. Hopefully not for a little bit though. I would like to sink more of their ships, get some more victory points, and be able to take some something interesting off them as war operations. First we're gonna strike some ports. Admiral Lazarev. One of these Orchakov class light cruisers. Very, very slow. Now that's a chase I can take. Alright. Battle cruisers, you can catch up. Heavy cruisers can definitely catch up. As can the DDs. Uh, they're not that much faster than the heavies. Just gonna send them home so I don't accidentally get them uh, damaged. Let's see here. Oh yeah, these are the ones with the 8-inch guns. I think that's perfect, because these... Uh, Soviet light cruisers don't have a lot of armor. Are we in range yet? No, 19 kilometers. Not gonna take too long though to get in range. Or did they have armor? I forget. Nope, they didn't. Point 0.1 at the thickest. Uh, so, Red will made this. Battle cruisers. Why are we firing AP? I guess AP would have slightly higher uh, chance to hit, but that was a hit. That was a big hit. All engines out. <laughs> the enemy light cruiser. So. Definitely going to be catching up now. Okay, it's almost dead from that one hit. So we need one more. There we go. Yeah. If we're going to make a light cruiser this slow, it better have some armor. Now, I wonder if my new light cruisers have some missions. No, they don't. Nothing. No convoy missions or anything like that. You want to buy a Wuxi class battle cruiser? I'm sorry. I don't have the uh I don't have the tonnage and you're not paying enough. And Germany is invading France. Austro Hungarian Empire failed to gain control of Western USA. Is that where your navy is now, Austria? Mm. 
uh, I guess they tried to take Western USA with one light cruiser that didn't even arrive in time. Let's see, the US is pushing into Dominican Republic, currently held by Japan. Italy is trying to quell a rebellion. Yeah, they got some ships sailing around. Dar es Salaam is uh, packed beyond capacity. It's okay, I guess. Yeah, they're just sailing around. They're not really coming to uh, do anything about me. Oh, Young Chi is in. Uh, okay. In Korea. The Korean Navy is only four DDs at the moment for Japanese built DDs. Three months remaining. I can probably find some more tonnage to add to that just to make sure that it. Uh, it is successful. For example, these guys, Nunning, together with, you can add a couple of way highs, and a DD. It's not a huge task force, but it's something. There we go. Yunnan is also here. You can go. Just so I have a somewhat uh, cohesive uh, task force. Ki Lung. We got a uh, heavy cruiser here too. Another way high. See, I'm gonna send two of these light cruisers down here, I think. So they can start generating some missions. Okay, come on. Let me click you. There we go. Actually, one to each port. I think that would be cool. Because we might get missions here now in Bay of Bengal. All right. What do I have here? Yeah, another way high. Excellent. So let's see if we get any missions from this. I can unsuspend some uh, some repairs now. I think. I'm pretty sure I suspended something. Yeah, here we go. Feng Tian. Resume. Everything is being built. Everything is being... Um, refitted and repaired. Shane Claus battleships are six months from completion. That is nice. That's going to give me some... Uh, some fresh new task forces. So I was hoping to design a new flight of DDs this turn. Yeah, no, maybe I can. Because that is 28,000 tons of free capacity. 
what do my DDs weigh? Three thousand. So I can build eight of these for twenty-four thousand tons. I think I will do that. Eight DDs. And they're gonna come in to Shanghai. And Hai Chao. So they will probably be ready at the same time as these battleships because the battleships will need another couple of months for commissioning after the construction is complete. So that is great. That's going to just give me uh, a full new task force. A powerful one too with the new battleships. Next month. Austria-Hungary somehow provoked Britain and Soviet Union are now also fighting. Ooh, Pingu took heavy damage, but we sank a submarine. Sank another submarine. Damaged a port. Sank some transports. And we have a convoy mission. They want to buy a Shane class battleship. Shipbuilding capacity is good now, so uh, but they're not paying much. I guess the money doesn't really matter at this point, but but still. Um it's going to take up a lot of shipbuilding capacity for a pretty long time, though. 55,000 tons. I guess I can do it. So, yeah, sure. Uh, 38%? Why? Are these not in the circle? Did the circles shrink? Or is it just somehow calculating the wrong number? Because I know I have more than 200,000 tons in this circle. Yeah, I think these ships here are for some reason not counted because it's the big circle here that counts right and the inner one is a minefield yeah or not maybe anyway I'm gonna just move them for uh, just to be sure Here we go, Aurora, the Austrian-built light cruiser, supported by a Korean DD and one of my DDs, going up against a heavy cruiser. Tsubakuro class, that's a new one, never seen that before. 30 knot top speed, 8 10.1 inch guns. That's some, that's some firepower. So it really depends on um, what kind of armor it has. So yeah, the Japanese have a new heavy cruiser class. That's a funky looking uh, heavy cruiser. Do you have you have a lot of armor? Um, okay. I don't have a lot of range, though. Semi-ballistic. AP, soft-capped HE. 
So not a lot of pen. But enough pen to go through the armor of the Aurora. And being semi-AP, it's going to do a lot of damage when it pens. So I think we're going to have to try and take it out with the, with the DDs. Because Aurora is not managing this. It's got pretty much no chance. Hatsuyuki is somewhat expendable, seeing as she's not my ship. And so she will have to get close. To launch her torpedoes. Let's get Ying Jing's uh, torps out first. There they go. Aurora is scoring some hits. Are we actually going to get torpedo hits here? No. Aurora is doing a lot of damage though with her uh, six inch guns. Let's see, those torpedoes are not gonna hit. Ying-Ching, you're going to have your torpedoes reloaded, so you can try again. But the Korean DD is uh, out of action. Aurora has done surprisingly well. She also hasn't uh, faced a lot of fire. I think once we start uh, taking uh, effective return fire, things will not be so good, but... So far, she's winning the damage trade. Yeah, oh, wow, she's actually actually doing really well. Yeah, Tsubakuro is uh, hurting real bad. Aurora took some big hits there too, though. And she's out of HE, which was her uh, most effective weapon. and out of torps. Okay, Aurora, you're taking floating hits. You're out.
You are out of here. Ying Cheng. You're my last hope. Okay. Uh, Tsubakuro is almost dead already. Might I actually be able to take her out with guns? Yeah. Excellent. Torpedoes not needed. Now Ying Cheng just uh, take up the last transport. And we're done here. Yeah, that was mostly fire damage. So no, all that armor still does not protect from uh, incendiary HE spam. Uh, kind of sadly, because it does feel kind of silly, but at least it worked out in my favor this time. And with that... I think this video is over. Let's see, just first repairs. What have you got going on here? The let's see, yeah. Wuxi is now in Shanghai. I thought she was in that Dutch port. I guess she teleported back. I guess she did. So she can re rejoin her sister. Where is it? It got... oh. It got combined. I'm going to fiddle with that just off camera. So that's it for now. Goodbye and take care.